Today's workout is going to be a little bit of a doozy. Scale it properly and you'll have no problem getting it done under the 15 minute time cap. I'd like for you to be a little bit conservative, conservative on your scales so that fatigue doesn't set in and also result in failure. So as we start off the workout, it starts off with three rounds and it's 50 double unders followed by 15 kipping handstand push-ups. Once you finish those three rounds, we're moving directly into the next rounders, which is gonna be two rounds at 50 crossover singles and 15 strict handstand push-ups. Again, we wanna scale it. We're not going to be scaling the reps per se, scale the movement so that you can actually get a good time and good um, effort out of this workout. As soon as you finish those two rounds, you finish off with one round of 50 double crosses and 15 wall facing handstand push-ups. When we do our double crosses, we want to make sure that you just remember that it's going to be the rope rotating around your body twice and a cross occurs at some point in there. So it doesn't have to have two crosses, it just needs to have the rope past your body twice. So as we go through it, I personally like to get into it and do a double under, start that, and cross at the last second, all right? That's gonna be something that we're gonna play around with in our warm up so that you feel comfortable. Now, when we're doing wall facing handstand push-ups, these are going to be strict. And we wanna make sure that as we do our wall facing handstand push-ups, we're gonna really try to keep our body close Elbows actually move outward on a wall facing handstand push up, and our form is not going to be the traditional um, tripod position that we're trying to do. Okay, so we'll, we'll kind of go over that in the warm up, but I did want to note that uh, here in the workout. Now, for scaling it, we're going to talk about staying in one scaling track. So if we're scaling level one for the jump rope specifically, it'll be double unders, crosses, and if you don't have double crosses, it'll be double unders again. And then you're gonna try to stay with that across the board. Level two will be singles, single crosses, and double unders. Level three will be jumping jacks, crosses, sorry, jumping jacks, singles, and crosses. This is all in the athlete notes. Now if we're talking about scaling the handstand push-up or in the inverted push-up. We're going to go ahead. Level four will be push-ups in the three-rounder, kipping handstand push-ups in the two-rounder, and wall walks in the three-rounder. If you're not able to do one of those, scale down. Level five is going to be push-ups in the three-rounder, handstand kick-up plus a push-up in the two-rounder, and then kipping handstand push-ups in the uh, one-rounder that's still something that we're not able to do, it'll be dumbbell push presses. So we'll be doing push presses with those dumbbells, elevated push ups, and then a push up, okay? So we have a few different things there. Again, detailed notes will have the um, athletes uh, scaling options in the, uh, the system. Now, if we need to, we are gonna make sure that we are really trying to um, be smart with our scales. Again, I want you to be able to complete this workout uh, in that 15 minute time frame. But if not, just stop at 15 minutes. You got a good workout, whether the jump rope caught you up or your handstand push-ups. But again, just getting inverted and trying to um, challenge yourself in movements that uh, maybe you not necessarily have done quite a lot of, or you know, working with the jump rope and really trying to practice more so than you have in the past um, is going to be a good time for this session, all right? So again, let's make sure that we choose wisely on this and that we um, tackle it with good intensity um, and good intention.